Hey, this is Zuriel. Today I'm going to be showing this 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. Let's take a look at it. First thing I want to show you is the driver's seat. You do have a 10-way power adjustable seats here. As you can see, you can kind of adjust it to your uh, convenience. You have a uh, lumbar support here, as you can see. And you do have your uh, headrest adjustables here. So you can adjust the headrest to however you like really easy all you guys do is just press this button and it'll lower as we go to the driver's side uh door you do have your windows here uh the front passenger and driver's side are automatically so what that means is all you guys do is just press it once and the window will automatically roll down or, or up with just the uh just by pressing it once um you do have your lock windows here uh folding mirrors You can adjust your mirrors uh, just by pressing this button here. You have the left and the right. Um, you can kind of control it with this little control here and adjust it to the way, the way you like. Uh, you do have your Bose sound system. You do have the blind zone alert uh, sensor here. This will turn on yellow, kind of blink and let you know, hey, you have somebody on your blind zone. And as we go up here, uh, you have your lock and lock. You have your memory seats here. So all you gotta do is just uh, save the settings where you want your seat, your mirrors um, to be at. And all you gotta do is just press one and set, and it'll be set. As we go up here, you do have your parking uh, brakes here. All you gotta do is just press it. And to release the brakes, you just gotta hold the brake and press it and it'll release. Um, you do have your four wheel drive options here. You have your auto, too low, for high, for low. You do have your modes here. You have a, a off-road, a sport mode, and a normal road. You can kind of play with those and depends on the condition you're in. You do have a tow mode here. I will just press it. You do have your mirror lights here at the at outside. Um, I will just press them. You have different uh, settings. And here you do have your uh, brightness. You can kind of play with the cluster. Um, it depends on, you know, if it's day or night. Play with it, um, how bright you want it, up, minus, and plus. Uh, you do have your light controls here. You have an on and off. You have your auto. You have your daylight runnings. And if you want them just to be on, you can. You have your fog lights here. And you do have your uh, color heads up display here, as you can see. With this button here, you can move it down and up, uh, adjust it to your like. With this info screen, you have uh, four settings. You have one with nav. Let's say you have your navigation on. It'll let you know, hey, turn right, turn left uh, without moving uh, any buttons just to kind of keep you, keep your eyes on the road. Um, the second one will be just the speed. If you don't want nothing on it, it'll just show you the speed. The third one will be a collision alert, a warning. Uh, it'll kind of show a, a car in its lane and there, there's going to be like a timer, two, three uh, seconds later, you know, hey, you're getting too close, too far. And the last one will be an off-road. Um, It'll kind of let you know, hey, you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, whatever you're in, it'll let you know. Um, with this button here, you can adjust the brightness of your heads-up display. So as you go here, you do have an adjustable steering wheel. There's four way you can do it, forward or inner, kind of shorten it down, move it down and up, kind of play around with it. As you can see here, you have two buttons here, and these is to kind of uh, change the station you're in or just skip to the next song, whatever you're uh, playing depends if you're in the radio. So you have your turn signals here. Uh, down will be left and up will be right. You have your IntelliBeams here, which you, all you guys do is just press them and there will be like a little A with, on there. It'll let you know your IntelliBeams are on, which that means if you're in a dark place and there's gonna be a camera in the front windshield and if it senses that you're not with other cars in front of you that are, that are in front of you, it'll turn on your high beams on for you and it'll turn them back off. Um, you can adjust your windshield uh, wiper speed. If it's raining automatically, that'll come on. And with this button here, you have all uh, your wiper uh, fluid cleaner. All you gotta do is just press and it'll clean your windshield for you. You do have some paddle shifters here and this is kind of uh, like a manual mode. So as you go here to the downshift, uh, to the shifter, you have an L, so all you gotta do is just put in an L and those shifters will activate, as you can see, downshift or to shift. Uh, this is a 10, this vehicle has a 10 speed transmission, so you have 10 speeds you can play around with. As we go here, 
You have your advanced cruise control uh, settings, turning off and on, set the speed, very easy. You have your super cruise here, which is this bar here. It'll turn green once it's activated. And this little sensor here, it'll be like a camera kind of watching you and letting you know, hey, are you facing forward or not? And all you gotta do just to activate it is turn your cruise control on and up here it'll kind of show you if there's a steering wheel there that means uh the super cruise control is available in that uh highway and now you guys just press it um you have your forward collision alert here it'll kind of you have three settings you can adjust it to how close you want it to go to it'll vibrate the seat and let you know hey you're getting too close to this vehicle as you go to your right side you have your hands free calling here you can hang up or answer uh, this year, this is like a like a Google. It's like a Siri. So I guys just press it and ask her, "Hey, what time is it?" And she'll respond. With this here, you can control your driver information center screen here. It'll kind of let you know, hey, you got options to choose from. As you can see here, you can kind of play around with these controls. This is for your driver center information. Um, you have your information, which it'll be your speed, um, how fast you're going drive summary you have uh, different types of uh, settings you can play around with your tire pressure timer your driver assist oil life things you want to know and make sure your you know your vehicle's in good um, shape you have a music option uh, it'll let you know hey you know this is playing your navigation option so if your nav is on it'll be like hey you can turn right turn left you're going southwest southeast uh, you have a phone so once your phone is connected, uh, it'll, it'll show you on there, hey, iPhone is connected. This and this is playing. And you do, uh, this vehicle comes with a display layout. You can choose from classic, progressive, digital, clean. And it'll show you, uh, my favorite is the progressive. Kind of play around with it. And you can also look at your lower gauges. I like to set mine at maximum. That way you can see your battery voltage, uh, oil pressure, uh, how much gas you have fuel, and your temperature. As you can see here, we have a 13.4 inch uh, touchscreen with Google built-in. And you can have plenty of options here. The first one here will be a trailer. So let's say you connect your trailer. It'll tell you there, add trailer, use guest trailer. You have a test light. So once you connect your uh, trailer, it's part of safety. It'll let you know, hey, all your lights are working. It'll do like a light test. And you do have with a you have, do have a 10, 10 checklist uh, check mark here that you have to do to kind of let you know, hey, is your hitch securely mount? Things like that that'll help you. You do have a phone Bluetooth uh, connection system. So this vehicle comes with wireless Apple and Android CarPlay. All right, you guys, just connect it to it, and they'll let you know here, hey, you know, such and such phone is connected. Uh, you have your maps option here. It's Google built-in maps, um, so it's basically like your phone. Like if you have an Android or a tablet, this is basically a huge tablet here. So type in your location. Hey, I want to go here. Zoom in, zoom out. You do have your music station here. You have eight types of uh, different media you can listen to. You have your AM, FM. Series XM, Bluetooth, Google News, you have your podcast, USB, and Amazon Alexa. You can save your favorites here at the bottom. You can save as many of your favorites you want to. All you guys do is just hold the uh, station you're in and it'll automatically save. So all you guys do is just press it and it'll take you to that station you want. This vehicle comes with 360 cameras. You have the option. It doesn't have to be in reverse for them to work. Uh, as you can see, you have your back, front, all these types of angles you can play around with. Bed, that comes in handy if you're parking or towing, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, you do have your Play Store here, you can download some apps. Once you log in with your Gmail, trailer and climate controls, um, they can be digital as well. You have your settings, and you do have a Wi-Fi hotspot with this vehicle. You can change the name, the password, uh, your sharing options my GMC account, your podcast, Google News. And as you can see here, uh, the screen, there's a split and you can have your music playing at this screen and you have your maps, uh, your trailer connection or you can have a timer there, set it to your like. And as we go down here, you have your heated and cooled seats. Uh, you have three different type of temperatures. Once you see the little light, it's on, that means it's activated. You have the back, a top rest only depending on what do you like uh, or the whole seat 
You do have your heated steering wheel here at the bottom. You do have dual climate control on this vehicle. That means that you can set one side of the car to a certain uh, temperature, the driver or the passenger. They don't have to be both at that same uh, temperature. And here's your cl uh, climate control settings, lane keep assist. Uh, you can turn this off and on. It'll kind of let you know, hey, you're getting out the lane. Uh, it'll vibrate your seat um, just to keep you in the, this is a safety feature just to keep you in the lane. I'm um, in the front, you do have four sensors at the back and the front. You do have your uh, auto stop. You can turn that off uh, when the vehicle comes to a stop. The vehicle will automatically turn off. That's to save gas. You can turn that off or on if you don't like it. So this option here, this is your power release tailgate. Um, all you guys do is just press it. So you press it and the tailgate will drop down. You have your hazard lights here, traction control. You have your uh, downhill descent control here. The engine will kind of stiffen down the brakes uh, if you're going down so you don't go fast. Uh, you do have your power windows here uh, with this here. You can lower all four windows and it'll automatically I'll just, I'll just press it and all four of them will roll down. As we come down here to the shift, uh, you do have your parking. This is an electric shifter. All right, you guys just press it to be in park drive neutral drive and it'll show you uh, there's going to be a red light letting you know hey you're in such your l and your part i guess just press it you do have your trailing brake control here you can adjust it and on your driver center screen it'll pop up and let you know hey this vehicle does come with wireless charging it's going to be down here kind of uh tucked in towards the console as you can see there all you guys will just put your phone down and it'll automatically charge you do have your USB uh, ports here where you can connect your charger. You do have an outlet there. Um, plenty of space in the console. You do have your little console divider here if you need it just for more storage, more space. And these are your air vents. Uh, you have one on the left and the uh, right side. Keeps your windows from fogging up. So uh, this vehicle comes with a rear view mute camera. You can turn that on just by pushing it or disengaging it um you do have your brightness here you have three different types of uh settings brightness zoom in zoom out up and down all right so as we go up here you do have your onstar uh settings here you have your sos onstar and talk to an advisor onstar advisor uh here you have a on and off uh lights if you want to close once you're exiting the vehicle and you don't want your lights to be on you can you have that option you can turn those off you do have here your back uh rear sliding window here you can adjust it you do have your garage universal built into the truck uh you have three settings here where you can save three different uh, openers you do have a mic here right above your head that helps uh the system here hear you better uh, if you're connected to your bluetooth uh if you want to ask google hey play something just to kind of so it can hear you better. You do have your compartments here, your glove box. This truck comes with a second uh, storage compartment at the top. All right, guys, let's just press it. You have more space there. So here with the shifter, um, I'm gonna put it in reverse and you're gonna see how the 360 cameras activate. You have different angles there, back and front. Uh, you, do, you do have your cross alert pedestrian. As you can see now, it's kind of letting you know, hey, there's something at the back. Um, here are your parking sensors. As you can see, it's letting you know, hey, you know, you have an object there, you're getting too close, it'll kind of indicate, hey. This right here is where you pop your hood, all you guys just pull it back. Now you have this little latch here, all you guys just pull it to your right, and the hood will pop up. And as you can see here, uh, the driver door does have cup holders, or just compartment, uh, compartment storage. And as you can see here, you do have storage on the side, uh, on the bottom side of the consoles, on both the driver and the passenger. Cup holders in the center. And on the passenger side here, you do have your fuse box. As you can see here, there's a little fuse. If you ever need uh, one of your fuse goes out, you can replace it here. You can turn on the child safety lock and that way it prevents them from accidentally opening the doors. 